Our next performer will be Sarai uh, Mom, Sarai, an actress from Tacoma, Washington. Past work included Red Earth, Go Gate, Shadow Sky, a play written by Mark Jerkins. preparing to cook a stew with lemongrass base. She chops down lemongrass stall with a meat cleaver, adds grounded galanga powder and tuna to the moisture. After mincing up the lemongrass, she also adds it in. She then takes the pesto and begins to pound it in order to open up the lemongrass. She does this continuously, stops every minute or so, so the, to readjust the ingredients so that they don't, so that they don't spill. Makara walks in from the hallway. His hair is combed and styled with product. He is dressed in a wrinkled white button-up shirt, jeans, and oversized sports coat. He's awaiting a ride that will, that will pick him up in the next half hour or so to take in the INS. He has received his final order of removal and will be deported to Cambodia. He proceeds to walk to the stove, opens up an empty pot. He stands there momentarily with a pause looking inside the pot. He then moves to the fridge, opens up the door, and begins to scan the refrigerator from top to bottom. He then looks inside of the door. He stands there repeating several times. He then goes to the cupboard and pulls out two instant noodle packages, fills an empty pot with water, and turns on the stove. He's ready himself to cook noodles. <laughs> Damn it, is the rice cooker plugged in? Avon, can you check it? I swear I plugged it in. Makaro walks over to the counter to check. He plugs in the rice cooker, then he walks back over to the stove to stand over the pot, waiting for it to boil. Do you have everything? What will they let you take with you anyway? Nothing really. Just some money and probably some paperwork. Just so you know. I've sold stuff and given away what I couldn't sell. All I have left in my room are bags of clothes. Makara looks over at Ritchie because she's paying attention. I was going to drop them off at Goodwill, but I forgot. I called Northwest Center for a donation pickup, but they won't be able to until Friday. Makara looks over again. Ma, Ritchie is listening to a radio broadcast from Cambodia on her iPad. Yes, I hear you. I'm listening. All the bags are labeled with what's inside. How come you can't take any of it with you? I don't think they'll let me. The radio broadcast keeps squeezing. Did you pay the cable bill? It's not playing. It's stopping and going. In my car? I thought you sold it. No, it's not yet. I'm getting rid of that too. There's someone that's going to pick it up and I, I put all the paperwork in an envelope and left it in the top drawer of your dresser. I labeled it car and it's in a big manila colored envelope. Ma! Okay, I hear you. I'm giving it away since I can't sell it. Salvador is going to pick it up on Monday. Can you give the envelope to him then? Richie rapidly presses the volume up on the iPad. They're just trying to take our land. That's all they do. Everybody just wants to invade Cambodia because of all of its resources. Ma, did you hear me? Who the hell wants that car anyway? It doesn't even work. People want it for parts or they sell the metal. I don't know. I'm just making sure there's nothing left behind for you to deal with. But there is something I have to deal with. Your, your damn car and your clothes. I told you to get rid of that stupid car a long time ago. That was 10 years ago. Look, it's pretty much taken care of. All you have to do is hand people the clothes when they come and the envelope to Salvador when he gets here next week. If it's too hard to do, I'll ask Sarai to do it. Hey, I'm going to go to the hospital. She has better things to do than drive down here to, take, to handle some stuff you should have taken care of a long time ago. So you'll do it? Yes. Do you know where you'll be staying once you get there? I'm not sure. Well, what are you going to do when you get there, once you land? I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know? Haven't you thought about it? Ritchie shakes her head and mumbles to herself. 
Hey, pra pai pra tia tá. Oi, quer dar hi, bem tá vendo? Mas dá pra ti. Figure something out. Figure something out? You're too dumb to figure things out. I told you a long time ago. Stop going, stop going out and stay in school. You don't listen. Mà đai prap con, bà đai con thà u chả ha. And look what happened now. Look, don't worry about it. Whatever it is, it, it'll just work out, okay? Work out? That's what happens in your workout. Came all the way over here just to go to jail, to waste your life and then get sent back. What does that have to What does that have to say about how you work things out? Huh? You act as if you act as if you were the one that had died, that you had been tortured, that you had been killed. I didn't nearly starve, run from gunfire, and walk hundreds of kilometers just so you can become nothing and go to jail. I suffered. I was the one that had to deal with all of this for everyone. I'm the one that had to provide for everyone. All you had to do was come with me and listen. What? But what, huh? What? Nothing. You got me started, now what? You always do that. You're about to say something, but you don't. You speak English better than me, but, but you can't say shit. What, huh? What is it? Look. I had a hard time too. A hard time with what, Abong? You got to go to school. You, you got to grow up here. Do you want me to hug you every time and, and tell you everything is going to be okay? Maybe. <laughs> Are you three years old? You act like you, you had to deal with what I had to. Kind of. Kind of? What does kind of mean? Makuro Mazi stirs the water in the pot with the chopstick. You couldn't remember anything. Anyways, you were too young. What? What do you mean, what? Ma, I remember everything. I, I still remember everything. Everything what? Everything. Like, everything. <laughs> How can you? How could you remember? You were barely walking. Ma, I was almost six years old. What do you mean I was barely walking? I walked all the way to Thailand with you, didn't I? Yeah, I, I carried you half the time. And six years old is still a baby. You, you couldn't remember the hard stuff. Makuro slowly shakes his head while emptying the flavor powder into the pot. Well, how could it? How could it? How can anyone remember anything like that at such a young age? I, I barely remember it, what I did when I was 10. Look, I dealt with more than you think. I deal with it. And jump up, Ma. Tell you? To tell you what? Anything. I don't want to. Besides, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving anyway, so. Yes, tell me. You never tell me anything. That's because you never listen. Every time I ever tried to tell you something about me, you turn it into something about you or someone else. Like, think of someone else, stop being so selfish, you would say. Or others have it harder, you're the oldest, you would say. What do I say? How do I respond to you? You respond by being a responsible person. People depend on you. Your brother, your sister, you want them to end up like you, huh? No. I guess. I guess not. No. You guess not? Well, well, what do you want me to say? That I do want them to end up like me? There's nothing I can say that would make you happy. So what's the difference if I say one thing or another, you just get upset and yell? I can't wait. I don't get smart now. I should have left you back there. Back where? Back in Sukhmai. Yeah, you would. Wish you would have. Great mom, you would have made. Tama ya bong. Huh? You think you could say these things to me? After all I've done for you, are you saying I wasn't a good mom? Get it. No! Ta do. Tama ta. 
ทำไมอดอดละอ Say it. I want to hear you say it. The water comes from rolling oil. Offer a s in those who are hot. How dare you even think that way? s m a n a s r o l e You stand here and accuse me of being a horrible mother. h a n jang mung m u n g i m a i ai nya. Ha bom. Look at what you become, huh? I can't depend on you for anything. If I got sick and died, you have nothing. You wouldn't be anything. I'm a bad mother. a b o Look at you. You weren't even man enough to keep your so-called family together. You don't even see your son. You can't even see your son because you did. You weren't smart enough to pick the proper wife. Now she's got you for everything. Commenting on my ability to be a mother. m k l u n a i n a b o n g m k l u n a i n Look at you. So much for being a father. If you were half the parent I was, you would be rich by now. What? I... Half the parent? You lost two husbands. Both ran from you. That didn't. That left you. He didn't leave because of me. And then you married this other guy, thinking I'd be take, you'd be taken care of. Now look at you. Don't think you're better than me. You want to start talking back all of a sudden, huh? You want to know shit now? Know better than me? You want to look down on your mother now? See, that's what's wrong with the, all the kids here. They owe their parents, owe them everything. You don't even know the customs, the tradition. You don't even know the language. I can't even take you to the temple. It's so embarrassing to have you with me. Why, why would I? You never showed me anything. You, ne you never helped me not once. All you ever do is tell me what I should know and what I should be doing. You never once tried to show me once. Never. Why the hell would I want to go to the temple with you for? s c o n e I haven't helped you all these years. Well, what the hell me, have I been doing? Ye yelling and making me feel bad is all you've been doing. All you do is tell me what I should be doing. A b o m You need to go pick strawberries to help us put food on the table. I never had a supper when I was a kid because I was so busy helping you. A b o m You were able to eat that Nintendo. Will it keep you from going hungry? The one time I asked for a toy, you wouldn't even get it for me. No money is what you would say. Then how do you afford cigarettes this whole time? I've done nothing. I've done everything you said. Never complained. How else do I pay you back? Can you pay me back my childhood? How can you say all that, huh? I've always tried to help you. What else would I be doing all this for? All those for? times I needed you at school, the parent-teacher conferences, the science fairs—you always had some excuse. How can anyone expect attention when they know their mom is working night and day to put food on the table, to put clothes on their backs? Did you even know that I won? Spelling bee in fourth grade. Do you remember that? You were home that night. Did you even for once ever think about how lonely I was growing up? I can't do everything, you know. You know that, don't you? The pot begins to smell. I, I can't either. But you expect me to do it anyway. What kind of childhood did I have? None. I, I didn't have any. When everyone went to play, you made me work. When I needed your help, you weren't there. Well, what do you expect me to do? Not work? m a k a r a t a p l a And then you get married and force me to like an asshole. You have two kids, but how come I feel like I became the parent? Where were you? I I don't know. I didn't know. What is it you wanted, a b o A mom. What? The car hops. m a g r a s t a r e s at the window for a few seconds, the pot, and then turns to look at her team. Just wait a second. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to go. m a g r a exits the waiting car. 